at dividing numbers here. And dividing real numbers are very similar to multiplication. Um, rules are pretty much the same. If uh, we have two numbers with the same sign, so again, it's the same sign, and which would be positive, positive, or negative, negative. A quotient or a result is positive. Actually, let me just abbreviate that. If we have different signs, such as positive negative or negative positive, then our quotient is negative. Now, much like we had um, the caveat with zero in multiplication in division, we have the same thing. So, but 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 it's a little bit different because um, we look at this in fraction form. Remember, the divisor bar in a fraction really means divide. So, if we have an instance where we have something over zero over a number, this is equivalent to zero. Okay. However, if we have a number that's over zero. This is undefined. We cannot say this is zero. We cannot say it is nothing. It is technically undefined. Now, reason being, I'd probably be a little longer in this than normal, but I think this is an important concept for math, is when we look at multiplication, basically we're looking at repeated uh, adding. So, you know, 3 times 2 is the same as saying, you know, 3 plus 3, or 2 plus 2 plus 2, we could say either way. But it's, it's repeated adding. Have division, however, is repeated subtraction. And because of this, if we think about this, oops, I spell right in a minute. If we think about this, the most important thing we can think of here in regards to this is we have repeated subtraction and we look at uh, something, say we're looking at 0 minus 4. You know, if we're dividing, that's basically what we're doing. Um, if we had 0 over 4, we'd be saying essentially how many times can we take 4 away from 0. Well, we can't take it away from 0. We can take it away 0 times because you can't subtract something positive from 0. So, in the case where we have 0 over the number, this is 0 because we cannot subtract this number from 0. It's impossible to do it. However, the difference comes when we see a number over 0. Now, in this case, since division is repeated subtraction, when we look at this, basically we're saying, okay, how many times can you take 0 away from any number? We say it's 1, 1 over 0. Well, how many times can we take 0 away from 1? Now, we can take it away forever. We can take it away 1 minus 0 is 1 minus 0 is 1 minus 0 is 1. Forever and ever and ever. That's why this is undefined. Because there's no way for us to ever reach an end final product there, uh, final quotient. So, hopefully that explains a little bit of why we cannot have 0 in the denominator. Um, that does it for this one. See you next one. Bye.